Hey guys, this is Movie Man. Today I will be discussing something quite interesting. Why Hollywood and the Oscars love biopics. So, as some of you know, a lot of the Oscar... Uh, no, no, sorry for my sore throat. A lot of the um, films that win the Oscars or are nominated are mostly... Um, Biopics and all last all this year it was all biopics everywhere, The Revenant, Spotlight, The Danish Girl, all the films were biopics. So I'm gonna name off a few films that have had that were big that are biopics that people know and the Oscars have awarded: Schindler's List, The Aviator, The Social Network, Steve Jobs. Joy, Ray, A Beautiful Mind, Stray Outta Compton, The Wolf of Wall Street, The Fighter, The King's Speech, and the list goes on. And also with this year's The Founder, uh, which looks like to be a very promising film from the trailer, which I will be discussing in my next video. But... I think what they like about biopics is that there's a sense of realism and the actor's performance and they have to really get down to the bone and portray them accurately or else it, it wouldn't be a good portrayal of them. So they have to be able to be committed to staying true to the person, which for one is what Oscars voters like is when actors are committed and want to make it as accurate as possible. As well as, they choose biopics that are, no, to no offense, or interesting, or very iconic. Like, Facebook, The Social Network, it was a fantastic movie. Very well uh, laid out by David Fincher. And then there's The King's Speech, or the film American Sniper by Clint Eastwood. So, they are, I think they also like biopics for the reason that... They're true stories. They love true stories. And we all love being able to look beyond the film and find out the true facts. And there's a sense of fun and just curiosity to it. Like Fox Catcher or Catch Me If You Can. So like, as well as biopics are really popular because... Like I said earlier, they're true stories, and people like that. So, like, if they would make a film about Instagram, people would probably watch that. But biopics are getting bigger and bigger and bigger because they're so popular, and they're noticed so much by Hollywood that they're just making them out constantly. Last year, we had, like I said, Spotlight. Room was based on true events. The film Joy, the film Trumbo... The film The Revenant, the film The Danish Girl, like all these movies, and then straight out of Compton. But, like, what's so good about biopics is that it's real, it happened. You, like, the events that occurred you, or, happened, and people like watching films that have a sense of realism to it, and that's what they bring. Betraying them accurately is a different story. Most films try their hardest to, and then films that do biopics with big stars and really good directors usually get nominated for Oscars. All these films, besides The Founder, which has yet to come out, have all been nominated or won an Oscar. And I am very, I feel like biopics should be not more made, but like choose to broaden their horizon because if they were to do a film about um like as Instagram Snapchat like it'd be interesting because they didn't want to about Facebook so why not but like this these are my following reasons why I think that they love and eat up biopics because they like true stories the true events good performances good direction and seeing that a film can portray it accurately. Those, that's my thoughts on why the Oscars like biopic films. What are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, 
Get, comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Until I see you again, this is Movie Man, signing off.